Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with Trotec Laser. I want to take you on a deep dive into the rotary accessory, showing the step-by-step -step process of how to engrave both sides of a tumbler while accounting for a mug handle and using a 2-inch standard lens. This video will explain how to engrave designs on both sides of a tumbler using the rotary software while accounting for the handle that might obstruct with the laser's focus head. Scan this QR code or click the link below to find the vacuum insulated travel mugs mentioned in this video. Remove any nozzle from the laser system's focus head to prevent it from interfering with the rotary. Install the rotary into the laser system, power it on, and wait for it to complete the homing process. If you have mugs with large handles and they do not fit properly in the Speedy 300, 360, or 400 machines, you can increase the height of the rotary attachment to make room for the handles. These machines have a rotary feature that allow you to adjust the rotary height. By using the down arrows on the laser's keypad, rotate the rotary to the stop position. Open the Ruby software, go to settings, and change the home position type to start position and save your settings. Navigate to the prepare screen in Ruby, activate the rotary, measure the mug's diameter, and enter this value into the rotary's field. Draw a rectangle in the prepare screen that represents the mug handle's size. Measure the handle and size the rectangle accordingly and align it with the red center line. Place the mug into the rotary with the handle upwards. Lower the laser system's table as needed. Using the system's keypad, adjust the focus head to place the red dot pointer in the center of the handle. Move the Z-axis down if clearance is needed. Now using the system's keypad again, move the red dot pointer to the top of the desired engraving area and use the F8 key in Ruby to place a marker. Repeat this for the bottom of the desired engraving area. Move the rectangle that represents the mug handle between these two markers. Draw two additional rectangles for the orientation of the engraving. One from the markers to the top of the page and another from the markers to the bottom of the page. Import your design and adjust its size and orientation to fit inside the top rectangle. Duplicate or bring in another design and place it within the bottom rectangle. Each of these rectangles represent an exact 180 degree offset from each other. Lock the rotary at the top of the page using the lock button. Then click the 3D button to verify the design's orientation. Using the system keypad arrow keys, rotate the tumbler so the handle faces the machine's front. With the rotary lock, this will also move the design in the Ruby software. Focus the laser on the tumbler surface using the manual focus tool. If producing in volume, create a stopper block for consistency by measuring the distance from the handle to the base of the rotary, and then cutting that block out on your laser. This block acts like a guide or a marker to ensure consistent production. This block will assist in lining up subsequent mugs in the same position, ensuring the engraving process can be consistently repeated. Open Ruby, set up the parameters for engraving powder-coated metal, in this example, 100% power, 65% speed, 500 dpi, used with the Speedy360 80 watt laser. Then push that file to the laser. Start the laser and the system will engrave one side, then the handle will rotate around so that it does not hit the focus lens and then engrave the other side, returning to the start position when finished. Once the engraving is complete, remove the engraved tumbler and replace it with a new one, using the laser cut blocks as a stopper. Then start the file to repeat the process. Use the blue powder coat residue remover from Enduramark to clean the tumbler. Scan this QR code or select the link below to order. This cleaner effectively cleans laser engraved powder coating by simply spraying a small amount onto the engraving and wiping it clean then repeating this on the other side for a polished, pure, finished laser engraved tumbler mug with a perfect 180 degree engraving. You can also use this process to engrave multiple cups at once. 
Scan this QR code or see the link below to watch the laser hack video to learn how to stack cups together using rubber gaskets. Place a stack of cups using the laser hack rubber gaskets shown in the laser hack video into the rotary. Using the red dot pointer to identify the top starting position of each of the additional tumblers. Again using the F8 key to apply a marker, then selecting everything in Ruby and then Ctrl C and V to copy and paste and then dragging each design to snap to the markers. Repeat this until all three tumblers have a graphic. Lock the rotary and rotate around so the handle faces out using the stopper block again to confirm the handles are aligned perfectly. Push the new file to the laser and start the laser to engrave all three tumbler mugs on the first side. Then the rotary will again rotate the handles around so that not to hit the focus head and it will engrave the other side. Once finished, remove the three tumblers, place three more into the laser using the block for alignment and repeat as many times as needed. If set up correctly, this process will allow for a mug handle to engrave with a standard 2 inch lens, producing consistent, repeatable results engraved on both sides of the mugs. When set up so three cups can be run at a time on both sides, this will produce 21 double sided engraving mugs an hour, accounting for change out with a similar size graphic on a speedy 360 80 watt laser system. In conclusion, this detailed guide should allow you to utilize full potential of your laser system when engraving tumblers whether doing single pieces or high volume production. Remember the key is setting it up correctly and ensuring precise measurements. With practice, you should be able to achieve perfect, repeatable accuracy every time. All web links and design files shown in this video will be included in the link below. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to see what I laser next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.